And it was a wild day in sports around the region, but perhaps the moment that had the most fanfare wasn't even on the field. Minshew Mania returned to the Palouse, but did it really ever leave? Brenna Green joins us now from Pullman. This is the line you were going to have to stand in on Saturday in Pullman in order to see Gardner Minshew. His first time back here at WSU since he's been named a starting NFL quarterback, and it definitely was a crazy day. I was only here for six months, but they made it feel like home, and I'm super proud to be a Coop. There's just something, or maybe a lot of things, about Pullman for Gardner Minshew. Yeah, man, they adopted me. I felt like a stray dog when I came in here, you know, not didn't really have a home. But man, the way they adopted me, you know, from the first game on, it, it was special. And the season we had together, um, there's nothing like it. The most fun season I've had of football ever. And I really feel part of this community and hope to grow that moving forward. Something he doesn't need to grow is his relationship with his former head coach. That's pretty solid. Oh, I get a text from Coach Leach after every game. Man, I love that guy. You know, we were talking the other day, you know, he, he's one of the ones that believed in me when, you know, not not really anybody else did. I mean, I owe him forever for that, and um, that's part of the reason why I'm here. It's widely known that Leach took a chance bringing in the unproven Minshew last season. Now, he's just enjoying the ride. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I'm kind of playing with house money, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, every step of the way, didn't have many opportunities, but now I have one in the NFL. So a lot of people think, thought I wouldn't get here, but now I am here, so got to make the most of it. But don't think for a second that through his crazy collegiate journey, he ever doubted himself. I, I absolutely thought I would be in this position, but, um, you know, not many other people did, but that's when having great people around you and, you know, awesome support system, keeping you moving even when you know you know, have your doubts, it's, um, it's awesome. And now he has the support system of an entire university. He doesn't take that for granted. Anytime I can get back, I'm going to get back. You know, I flew in this morning, flying back tomorrow morning. Any way I can get up here possible, I'm going to do it because I love this place, I love these people, and, I mean, I love the school. There is a lot of anticipation around here. If Luke Falk keeps starting for the Jets and Gardner keeps starting for the Jacksonville Jaguars, those two could meet up in a game on October 27th. Gardner said he is absolutely looking forward to that matchup. Reporting in Pullman, I'm Brenna Green from Two Sports.